What up? I said, what up? What up? What's going on, what y'all? What chilling, up? chilling, what chilling. What I've been bombarded with people asking me to do a review on the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One. But I've been telling people I don't have the Xbox One. My brother have the Xbox One. I went over there. I played a couple games. And then after using the Xbox One, I said, I might as well just install Windows 8. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I installed Windows 8 and made my PC into the Xbox One, I ran into another problem. My graphics card was too good. <laughs> okay, let me stop before everybody gets mad at me. But to be honest, I made a tweet of what I think about the Xbox One and the PS4. If you like shooters and you run solo and you don't have any friends or anything and you like Battlefield and you like Call of Duty, get the PS4. If you have a lot of friends and they all have the Xbox and they're getting the Xbox One, get the Xbox One. If you like pure shooters with crazy graphics, get the PS4 for Killzone. If your head's gonna fall off or explode if you can't play Titanfall, get the Xbox One. To wipe all of this out, you can just get a gaming PC. One of the main reasons everybody wanted the Xbox 360 is the communication. I've heard reports, I've even watched a Fear Moho video last night, and he said that's pretty much over with. Like if someone sent you a message, you used to could just hit the center console button and bam, you're on the message. With the PlayStation 3, someone sends you a message, you hit the console button, and it takes nine minutes to load. That's one of the reasons why I think the 360 is better than the PS3. Now, you have to say Xbox, go to message, or something. Like, like it seems like they're forcing you to use their features. One thing I don't like is people forcing you to do something like black ops one remember that <laughs> they were forcing you to go in game types you didn't want to to get marathon pro you had to play capture the flag that's just an example i remember a couple videos ago i said something i don't like about the ps4 is you still can't appear offline and i'm hearing reports that you can't appear offline on the xbox one either how do you allow a thousand friends and you can't appear offline? What do these developers or whatever, what do they be thinking? One of the main reasons everyone loved the Xbox 360 controller is because it was bigger and it, it just fit in your hands perfectly. The bumpers were in the right spot, the triggers were perfect. And then PlayStation said, eh, you know what? We gotta make a change. We gotta make the triggers bigger, make the controller bigger, and make the bumpers better. They did that. And then Xbox One said, Hey, John. Yo. John. What's up, man? Come here. Hold on, man. Here I come. Yeah, just come here. Yo, what's up? Yeah, you know how we made these controllers? Yeah, that's controllers. Yeah. yeah, they were great. Yeah, we're gonna change it up. Why? Yeah, we're gonna change it up. For what? We're gonna make it smaller. And then we're gonna turn no, no. the bumpers into an awkward position. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was over my brother's crib, playing Call of Duty Ghost, I had an open mind. I was playing the game as if I didn't have a PS4. As if I didn't care that the PS4 had better specs and had better graphics. I was playing it as I'm coming from the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. The graphics is so much better than current gen or last gen because this is current gen. Man. 
I'm just a regular guy that plays a couple of video games. When I do reviews, it's off experience with the product. I don't read gun damage stats from a forum where a person who wrote that forum read it from another forum then act like I know everything about COD or Battlefield. You know those smart guys that know all the gun damage stats, how you're gonna get killed, and when they play the game, they have a 1.5 KD. Jive Turkey, Jive Turkey. Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking, five, five. And remember, Michael Jordan is the Jive Turkey of basketball.